What's up everyone, Savage here. Uh, we are approximately six minutes into November now, and uh, told, put it on Instagram yesterday, I was gonna do a uh, gonna do a drugstore product review. I'm gonna go ahead and knock that out real quick. Uh, I'm actually getting ready for work right now, so I'm gonna keep this video as quick as humanly possible. Try to keep this one under, oh, we'll say right around 10 minutes. It'll be time to finish getting ready and get my shoes on. So, product we're gonna be looking at, Shave cream from Dollar Shave Club. Yeah, pretty straightforward. Shave cream. That's what it is. So, uh, yeah, a lot of people are familiar with Dollar Shave Club for uh, like their razors that they send out for cheap. Still not the best quality of me, so it makes no difference to me. I mean, the razors, I mean, I haven't tried this stuff yet. I saw it at the, uh, I've had it for a while. I've seen it at the, uh, you know, something like the, uh, you know, the commissary for a minute now, but just never got around to trying it really. And uh, yeah, I figured why not? Let's go ahead and try it real quick and uh, see how it works. Uh, I'm not gonna lie, I did a little reviewing, like review looking on the website and a lot of people were complaining about like stupid reasons with this stuff. Oh, it doesn't, it, it's, it's too thick for my blade. It doesn't go on like the shave butter. Yeah, well, because it's not the shave butter, so go figure. But, uh, so this stuff claims, if using a shave brush, you can, you can use it. So, we're going to try that today. I want to see how it works, if it works. So, got the smiles bowl here. It's going to, a good healthy amount. We'll talk about the scent here in a second. Mm, peculiar. I'll tell you about that in a second, though. Uh, for my brush, I'm going to use my uh, Phoenix Solar Flare. Just a little guy today. I'm not, you know, I'm probably going to knock this out one pass. Just straight forward against the grain one pass. So, lather it up, lather it up, lather it up. So it's very thirsty. So it turns out. There we go. <laughs> Too much water. I had to have a good bit of the soap in there, so the cream in there. So, so it's lathering. Recently, I mean, it's a little thick, but it feels really smooth, you know, mixing. So, there's a tiny bit more water. I should be good to go. Ah, I think I might have just nailed the right consistency, the right amount of water. My brush was just too dry. Hope everyone had a good Halloween. Um, took my kids out. Uh, did trick or treating, yeah, it was really fun. Uh, and got to go. Didn't have to go to work till uh, until about one. So, okay. So while it's not directly, you know, uh, under my nose, and that's mainly due to, uh, you know, it's officially. Uh, November now, and my mustache finally doesn't look half terrible, so I'm going to grow it now. For anyone who's been requesting I grow it, here you go. You see, it doesn't look terrible. You know, it's... I don't have that same epic facial hair that Smiles does, especially now that he's shaved and he's just got that awesome, fucking awesome goatee now. So, but this stuff, really good, really thick actually. I'm going to use my Henson with a uh, King C Gillette blade. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to keep this one quick today, alright? But, let's go ahead and start. Okay, good cushion. You can hear uh, the drag there. I mean, there's no drag to the razor, but, you know, it's just the hair that's on there, residual hair.
the smell is hmm it, it's gonna sound really really strange but the smell is very reminiscent of like have you ever um had like a bottle of Sprite, Seven Ups, and like that Sierra Mist, and then you either left it out too long or you just had it in your fridge too long and it went bad. Flat lemon lime cola. That's what it smells like. Surprisingly, it's very pleasant. And honestly, there's actually um, there's actually a cooling agent in there as well. Like, I'm not sure if there's menthol in there. Let me check real quick. It's got peppermint in it. That's what's, that's what's doing it. Yeah. A lot of good ingredients of jojoba oil, coconut. I don't know. They say fragrance, but I don't really. I wouldn't. It smells more natural to me rather than a fragrance, actually, rather than an artificial fragrance. I could be wrong, though. Yeah, let's give it a neck one more time. I'm gonna leave my cheeks a little. Oh, I might as well just get them real quick. I'm not gonna waste. So, this stuff, uh, like I said, I've had it for a minute. It's never got around to using it, like, you know, because some of the other products have been dropping. Got some stuff from Phoenix on the way. Very excited about that. We'll be reviewing that in the next video. Is the season for clown fruit after all if you get my drift. This is my boy Reed, aka Rising Whipster, aka Shave Cape. was happy and was very kind enough to hook me up with a uh, one of his clown fruits that he had. It was a never been touched clown fruit that he had. So I started to hook him up with something. I mean, smiles both. If anything, the giveaway, like I said, I've been stalled for the time being, but. You know, I'm have a breakthrough in that one, but more follow on that later on. All right. So, it's really smooth. Uh, definitely, I'm really enjoying the peppermint cooling effect. actually pretty pretty decent I'm not gonna lie I really have no complaints with this stuff um Nick does it and I don't hold it against it if it doesn't you know get that area of my neck right here it's a very hard area to get all right Take another razor. I'm gonna use my Phoenix to get this behind that. There we go. Honestly, uh, I was like, I just don't think I've uh changed the blade in my Henson in quite a while, so that's uh, my fault that I'm dealing with this right now, actually. Alright. Uh, I'm not 
not going to touch the stash up just because, you know, my lip gets irritated easy and I don't want to deal with that. But, what are my overall thoughts? I'm actually impressed, I'm not going to lie. Uh, good drag, good glide. Well, no drag, good glide. Pretty decent cushion. Um, I really didn't build the thickest lather with it, so the cushion, I'm assuming, probably is a lot better than what I had. I had a really good cushion, honestly, overall, though, even with the minimal lather that I had. So, uh, would I recommend seeing this if you buy, buying this if you see it? Hell yeah, go for it. Good travel stuff, honestly. That way you know, because it's in a tube, pack flat, pack flat in your uh, carry-on, dop kit, whatever you use. And it's cheap, too. I think I paid five bucks for it at Tops. Easy deal. All right, aftershave. What do I want? What do I want? What do I want? Be right back. I can't find the one that I want unless it's in here hiding. Nope. Here, back, people. <clears throat> yeah. Look at that goodness right there. I know Phoenix is coming out with their, uh, Sakura Blue. Definitely gonna try and get my hands on that. I extended my budget a little bit. Oh god. Of all the old school classic aftershaves. That one with that was my favorite of all time. <laughs> Something about aqua though. I don't know what it is. I'm just gonna start calling little champ and tiger and everything like that. Alright. That's all I got for you today. Um no I'm talking a little quiet right now. The wife's sleeping. And, uh, you know, it's midnight. Gotta be quiet, you know, to a point. All right. Um, that's all I got for you today. Uh, I want to give a huge shout out to anyone who's uh, like, comment, subscribe. All my subscribers. If you do like what you see, please comment, subscribe. Leave me hate. Leave me love. I don't really care either way. Uh, yeah, that's all I got for you guys. Savage out.